yeah, it was really nice. I think me and Jay spoke that um, there was somebody uh, or a team along the line that were we're going to be the on, on the end of, of me and Jace at some point. And it just took a little bit longer than, than what we would have liked. Um, but yeah, it was nice to, to get a few runs together. Um, I've obviously spent a lot of time with Jace um, and Joe as well. So it was nice to um, nice to form that partnership. And hopefully um, going through the tournament now, we can, we can have a few more. I think after the match, Jason said that you had been um, working your backside off in the nets and nearly sweating yourself to death trying to find some form. Do you put uh, the knockdown to anything in particular? Um, obviously the hard work, but did anything just click for you that brought on the big knock? Not really. I think just sometimes cricket's a funny sport and it can, it can, yeah, when things are going well, things go really well. And when things aren't going well, it, it can be pretty tough. Um, and I think just sometimes it's your day. I obviously got dropped first ball and got away with a couple of, of close calls and then um, got a couple of boundaries away and all of a sudden you, you kind of forget the last couple of weeks and, and you're off and away. So um, I did, I, I bad for about two hours the, the day before. Um, I owe a lot to our batting coach who, um, yeah, it was a pretty hot day and he threw, threw to me for two hours. So um, I owe a lot to Bo Casson, but um, yeah, it was really nice to, to be able to sort of find some rhythm and, and get back to scoring a few wins. And lastly, obviously, five wins on the trot, four um, undefeated at Optus Stadium. How will you, uh, as a team, how will you look to emulate that form now on the road? I think the stadium, it's obviously nice to play in front of the home crowd, but I don't think the... I don't think it's a massive advantage playing at home. I think um, T20 cricket is, is all about who plays the best cricket on the day and I think um, we did that on four occasions which was which was really nice and I think winning becomes a very good habit in T20 cricket and momentum is massive so yeah I think as long as we we ride with it as, as long as we can and, and keep going and the lads are really confident um, and I think we've got great depth within our squad um, we obviously picked up a couple of injuries but it still and it still goes to show that we've got some great depth and great lads to bring in so um, yeah long may it continue and Hopefully we can we can keep building on them wins. Thank you. Great, thanks, Bon. Uh, Martin, over to you. Yeah, hi, Lou. Martin Smith from Cree.com here. Um, I just wanted to ask about the the power surge. Obviously, it's a new new thing this year. Um, does your team sort of go into a game with any particular sort of set plans around the power surge, or is it sort of very much you, you sort of adjust as you go and and the time you take it with the bat is sort of determined by the situation of a game? Yeah, absolutely. We don't pre-plan anything. We certainly know the number of overs that we're going to take it in. Um, I think it's just making sure that you've got two set batters when you take it. Um, there's, there's probably nothing worse than leaving it, leaving it, uh, losing a couple of wickets, and then all of a sudden you get into your bowlers having to take it in the 18th, 19th over or whatever. Um, I guess, yeah, if we've got two set batters and, and we're going really well, then... I guess the earlier the better, and um, yeah, it's, it's sort of there to we're trying to use it to to build up some momentum going into the back end of the innings. So um, yeah, our, our sort of team plan is to to try and take it when two batters are in um, to make sure that we can we can make the most of it. But there's definitely no um, pre-planned situation that we we talk about before the game. Do you feel like as the tournament goes on, your you as a team are getting better at that and learning when the good time is? to take it and, and who the best bowlers are to to bowl it when you are in the field as well? I think bowling-wise, I think you do preset who bowls it. Um, I guess it's just the same as the as the four death overs. Um, you kind of pre-plan who's going to do that uh, previously. I guess you, you pre-plan that now instead of two at the end. You have your one surge and your one death over. Um, so, yeah, I think teams are getting more used to it it's obviously a new a new thing it's going to take a while to to get used to um but i guess it, in some games it can make a massive difference um i think the, the game against the thunder we got 40 off it and they only ended up getting 20 or something so um we ended up winning by 17 runs and i guess you can kind of say that that's the difference so um i think yeah it can it can be a massive factor in, in winning and losing a game and it's just trying to make sure that you make the most of it and, and take it when you've got yeah two set batters and, and two that are going do you like it as a rule 
Uh, it's different. Um, I'm an opening batter, so I'm going to say no because I want six overs at the top, not four. Um, but no, I think it's yeah. I think it's it's a great rule for the games that could be dead and teams that need eighty off thirty with four or five wickets left. It's probably highly unlikely you're going to win. Um, I think it can bring them sort of games a little bit closer. Um, and it's something different, I guess. It keeps crowds interested. It keeps um, people watching at home interested. When are they going to take it? When are, uh, why aren't they taking it? Um, we had a thing the other night. Did we forget to take it? Um, so I guess it's it's just another talking point, and it keeps people more interested than than Soviet. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Martin. Jake, anything from you? No, from Jay. Okay, Lockie Reid. Sorry, Liam. Uh, just not to harp on that net session that seemed to inspire you to the runs. Just want to just ex can you just explain that? Like, was it in the heat of the day, etc.? Uh, I just it's not something I've really uh, ever done. I've spent a lot of time in the nets over the last 12 months having been in a bubble and not really playing. I spent a lot of time around the England bubble in the summer and I guess sometimes in, in the nets you can kind of find ways or find things that aren't really aren't really wrong, but you think they are. Um, so I guess I just yeah, I tried to back my way through and try and back myself into into a bit of rhythm and into a bit of form. And um, yeah, it's it's a funny game. Like I could have been out, um, could have been out first ball and that net session may have been pointless. Um, that's the game that we play. It's um and I guess that's sort of the, the really interesting part of cricket and, and T20 cricket, especially, is that, um, yeah, little things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like I said, I, I guess um, if you put the hard work in, then and hopefully luck is on your side. And thankfully it was the other night. And how's Colin going? Pardon me if I missed it earlier on. Uh, any chance tomorrow or maybe he needs a couple more? Um, Colin's been great. He's obviously been doing his rehab stuff. Um, he's been training. He's back training with us now. So um, fingers crossed, Colin's back. He's been um, he's been a massive part of our team. He's been unbelievable in our middle order, um, and he was great in Perth. Um, so yeah, I'm sure when Colin comes back in, he'll be uh, he'll be great, great to bring back into our team. And um, yeah, it sort of makes our batting look even stronger when Colin's back. Thanks, mate. Cool. Thanks, Lockie. Uh, Jake, we'll try again. Hi, guys. Sorry about that. And I was on double mute. Um, Liam, how are guys like Matt Kelly going? It's quite rare for the Scorchers to have all their uh, first choice bowlers. And Matt played most of the games last season. How's a guy like him going at the moment? Brilliant. Him and Joel obviously haven't played a lot. Um, I guess being a really good bloke helps both of them. Um, they've been brilliant around the group. Um, I guess the, the lads that haven't been playing, even Joe, who's one of my good mates, he's obviously over here um, in the squad as well. And he's been he's been great as well. They've, they've, they've sort of really got around the lads. They've helped out when needed. Um, and they've been, yeah, they've been great around the group. It's obviously not easy. I spent a lot of time in the bubble in the winter and not playing and it, it can be, it can get quite draining at times, um, but yeah, they've been they've been great around the group. They they've sort of helped out when we've needed them on game days, and and they're obviously still training really hard. For, but hopefully, we don't get any injuries. But if they do, then we've obviously got some great quality to bring in. Beauty, thanks, mate. Go well tomorrow. Cheers, thank you, mate. Thanks, Jake. Bond, do you want to close us out? Yeah, just a light-hearted one to finish on, if that's all right, Liam. I think you are probably your most publicised comment last season was when you were asked about Ingo and you said, well, he's just a short, fat opening bat, isn't he? Uh, I think that was our favourite of the season. Do you have any other insights for us on any of your new teammates? Any more comments you'd like to give to us about Ingo? No, I think Jason's pretty similar, just quite, just a little bit bigger. Um no, the lads have been brilliant. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed my time last year. Um, we have a life together, which is the main thing off the pitch. And we're now playing some really good cricket on the pitch, which, um, yeah, I guess everyone's enjoying each other's success. Everyone's playing with a smile on their face and there's a great vibe around the dressing room, which is great to be a part of. Um, 
and yeah, I, I suppose long may it continue and hopefully we can we can push that right the way through the group stages and into finals and see where we go from there. Awesome. Thanks. Go out tomorrow. Thank you.